Hi, I'm Paul Faranby, aka Incredible Paul, and welcome to another episode of Six Minute Saturdays. The opportunity to dive a little bit deeper, more condensed. I know we're all busy, and maybe you can't watch the full scale podcast or listen to it. So if you're not watching the podcast, make sure to watch it on YouTube. Otherwise, wherever you find podcasts, you can find this where Spotify, Apple, Google, whatever it is. But let's dive into it. A lot of times when I'm doing podcasting, people ask, like, how do you even find guests? Like, what is your process? What is something that you do to make sure you can continue finding guests? I say a key thing is just to be in the mindset of finding a guest. So what do I mean by that? A perfect example was I used to travel a decent amount when I, I worked for Purina, Nestle Purina. And so I went all over the country. I travel a couple times internationally. And so towards the end of 2022 was when I was starting to ramp up my podcast and I was being more intentional and kind of seek out, okay, who are potential people I could have on the podcast? And so there's someone that at the hotel while I was at in Paris, I was talking about her story, how she was navigating her career and what she was sharing with me. And we kind of talked about things in Paris and think how things were going for me in the United States. We're just talking, comparing the contrast. And so at that point, after we done, got down our conversation, I was thinking, I wish I was, had been recording. I feel like this would have been a really great podcast because a lot of times with the podcast, I want to make sure that people understand that it's a journey and you don't always know. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's people that know exactly what they're going to be doing from when they start into school or before they get into school and they stick with it the whole time. But for majority of people, you find things you like, find things you don't like. And so that was just a, a perfect example that I had talked to her. I didn't really have in mind her being on the podcast so when I started talking, but I was able to connect with her. And then um, unfortunately we weren't able to do it while I was there. I didn't have any equipment or anything like that to do it, but we were able to reconnect and we did the podcast virtually over Zoom. Uh, so that is the one, the C'est La Vie episode the, from a French perspective. So that's how I got that episode. But a lot of the people that I interview on the podcast are actually people that I know, either know really well or people that I've just connected with on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, I think, is a, an amazing opportunity to find guests or even connect with people as a whole. When I work with different clients or students on mentorship, all that stuff, I really harp on LinkedIn being a platform that you really should get engaged into. It's interesting because LinkedIn has been a while around for a while and people know the power it has in the job search. But I think what's underrated is the power it has as far as building connections and networking as well. So there's the, the chat functionality. I know there's in-mails and stuff, but you don't have to, because there's like, with, if you already have a premium account, there's like a certain amount of in-mails or like DMs you can send to people who you're not connected with. But what most people don't realize is that when you send a connection request, you have an option to send with a note. And I think it's like 300 character limit, but that's enough to kind of introduce yourself, talk about, uh, why you want to connect with them or maybe talk about a, a post that they had recently. What I see a lot of times either with other people I've seen or myself specifically a lot is that people use that, sp don't use it at all and they'll just send a connection request, which I think it's fine. If you know the person, you work with the person, they recognize your name, they'll accept it. No harm, no foul. But if you're reaching out to someone that has no idea who you are or you're trying to to build connections, whether you're, you're interested in what they do for work or a post that they did, or maybe a potential person who you want to get on a podcast or a potential client, you need to tailor that note to something that they're going to click on. So think about it from your perspective. If someone reaches out to you and, and they're immediately talking about how you can help them, oh, like buy my product or do this for me, do that for me instead of looking at it from their perspective. And you need to be really cognizant of this and be authentic as far as find something that you like on their profile or something that resonates with you. Even more important is if you can, or even more 
effective is to find a post, a recent post that maybe you liked, either comment on that post and then refer to that post in the note because that shows that you're going above and beyond. I would say out of all the connection requests I get, a small percentage, I would say me, maybe 20% talk about something on my profile or even a smaller percentage talk about a specific post I have. And so that's uh, something that you can do as far as LinkedIn. First of all, if you're not on LinkedIn, get on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not only for jobs. It is a really great place for entrepreneurs to be on as far as building those connections, continuing to develop. There's a lot of great content people put out on LinkedIn. If you're not on LinkedIn, Definitely get on LinkedIn. This episode is not sponsored by LinkedIn, but LinkedIn, if you want to sponsor it, let me know. I will. <laughs> you can ask my wife. I'm on LinkedIn way too much, but I'm pretty much out of time. That was another episode of Six Minute Saturdays. Keep being incredible. Mm-hmm.